sisi kama bunge la mwananchi na akuru tunasema this man yale mashirika ambayo hayajalipa mishahara make sure mmerudishia wa Kenya housing levy 1.5%. Sina namna hiyo? Yes. Sina namna hiyo? Ndio. Warudishie wa Kenya pesa ambayo imefanya nini? Ime pesa ambayo imekatwa kwa mishahara yao. Kwa sababu hiyo pesa ni ya wa Kenya na wewe huku wauliza uanze kukata. Na wewe kimani ichungwa wewe. Endelea kubetray wa kikuyu kabisa. Chuma chako kimotoni. Endelea kusema mko na majority in the National Assembly. You are misleading your majority at the house. Your majority at the house ungekuwa unaitumia kupigania wa Kikuyu na wa Kenya wengine ungebarikiwa sana. Lakini ni kijana mdogo ambaye hata ungekuwa unapigania kingship ya Mount Kenya na upigania watu wa Mount Kenya. Huna aibu na simamo unasema mtaenda parliament kuseti sheria ya kuruhusu askari waende Haiti. Okay, kwa majina naitwa Mr. Robert Makoha Wangoho, rais wa bunge la Mwananjia na Nakuru County. Na kwa hivyo, naposimama hapa ujue kwamba hii ni sauti ya rais iliyomshindanga ibilisi. Naanza hivi. Koti ni koti. Koti ililetwa ikuwe independent. Koti ikiwepo ndio referee ya wananchi na serikali na jambo lolote likitokea koti huwe na kuwa the last resort na koti ikishaamua iseme kwamba hili jambo linaenda namna hii ni hivyo huwezi badilisha ndio maana petition ya urais tulipoambia ya kwamba ni William Ruto sisi watu wa opposition sisi watu wa serikali sisi watu hatukupiga kura wote tulisema waacha akue Ruto aongoze Ruta akipeleka maendeleo fulani mahali mkenya mmoja aseme hapana ni vibaya tuketi chini tuongee na yeye alazimishe na yeye mkenya aende kotini na koti itupilie mbali Ruto ni mkenya tu hakuna kitu ambacho aweze akafanya so nianze kwa kusema congratulations to the court of Kenya tunawapea heko kwa kutupilia mbali housing levy bill kwa sababu ilikuwa inakandamiza mwananchi kwa sababu ilikosa public participation na tunajua ya kwamba you have exercised a lot of maturity in your ruling umetuonyesha ya kwamba hamuogopi mtu yote hata Ruto mwenyewe hamuogopi kwa sababu ni nyinyi ndio muimweka hapo kwa sababu wa Kenya ndio waliomweka pale. Ruto ni nani? Koti jana inasema imetupilia mbali housing levy. Yeye anapiga kifua akisema eti mpende msipende itaendelea. Kwani wewe uko nayo ngapi bwana? Kila mwanaume ako nayo mbili hata wewe. Na maanisha macho na masikio. Eh? Wewe uko na mbili, mimi niko na mbili au wananchi wako na mbili. Koti ikisema kitu ni mbaya ni mbaya. Uwezi simama usema ati tupende tusipende. Unatulazimishia nyumba. Hatuna mahali pa kukaa. Kama uko serious, tulipie rendi ya mwezi mmoja yenye imetushinda kwanza. Therefore, koti vile imesema housing levy was wrong for Kenya. Anza kurudishia wa Kenya pesa yao ulianza kuwakata tarehe moja mwezi wa saba the year 2023 turudishie pesa yetu ambayo umekuwa ukitukata rudisha pesa bwana we are not paid by bananas we are paid in terms of money umetukata pesa yetu kwa uhalifu sio kihalali koti imetupilia mbali nasema hivi mimi rais wa bunge la mwananchi na akuru rudishie wa Kenya pesa yao sasa. Alafu nimesikia ya kwamba vijana wako kina Kimani Ichungwa, kina Aisha Kamwaura eti wanasema lazima askari wetu wapelekwe Haiti. Nani anakuambia hivyo? Sisi ndio tunagaramia wale maaskari. Koti ikisema hawataenda Haiti hawataenda. Hiyo petition wakati tutaipeleka kotini 
tena wataiangusha chini just like the way you used to be happy the time bbi was being thrown away continue being happy when the housing levy is halted continue being happy when the haiti mission is halted continue being happy when the shif is halted by the courts of kenya you are not above the law mr president this is our message as the common people of the land we are not going to allow you to be in office to continue intimidating our courts because our courts are independent just like your office the executive is independent therefore stop issuing threats to our courts of kenya ati huyu mjamaa anataka atumie shilingi billion 91 kupeleka maaskari wetu haiti haiti is in south america america is believed to be a developed country kenya is a very poor state mbona anajipendekeza wewe america haipeleki maaskari wewe unataka kupeleka maaskari kutoka kenya na wewe kenya watu wanakufa njaa Kenya vijana wanauana sababu hawana kazi. Kenya mama wanalala njaa na watoto. Kenya umepandisha stima watu wanalala kwa giza. Mama Samia anakuchekelea. Museveni anakuchekelea. Watu ambao wako na noti mpaka 10000 wanakuchekelea. Alafu nasimama wanasema lazima upeleke polisi wetu haiki. Na kuna hii security na akuru, kuna hii security Mombasa, Kisumu Kondele na Nairobi yenyewe unapeleka askari Haiti kwa njia gani koti yako yenyewe ikikataa imekataa wacha kuonyesha dunia kwamba wewe haufuatili hautumia akili koti kama imekataa na unapeleka maaskari Haiti watu wale wenye unajifanya mzuri kwao watakuona we ni mjinga kwa sababu wanaona kwanza katika nchi yako ya Kenya wewe hauheshimu sheria wale majajes wenye ulikuja ukawaidhinisha kuwa halali walikuwa wamewekwa parking na uhuru kinyata saa hizi unawaonyesha uliwaweka lakini wakiamua kitu hawezi kufuata unaonyesha dunia ya kwamba ujelewi you are incompetent because you don't respect the rules of the law in your own land therefore sisi kama bunge la mwananchi na akuru tunasema this man yale mashirika ambayo hayajalipa mishahara make sure umerudishia wa Kenya housing levy 1.5% sina namna hiyo yes sina namna hiyo warudishie wa Kenya pesa ambayo imefanya nini ime pesa ambayo imekatwa kwa mishahara yao kwa sababu hiyo pesa ni ya wa Kenya na wewe huku wauliza uanze kukata Make sure they get what they deserve. Na wale ambao washakatwa mshahara wa next month, make sure hiyo pesa mnawarudishia. Na mchukue hiyo pesa yenye mlikusha kata. Kwanza mwezi wa Julai, hiyo pesa yote irudishiwe kwa pay slip za wa Kenya, waweke kwa account zao. Kwa sababu wako na familia za kulisha. Ona huyu mjamaa wenu bwana watu washachukua loni wamejenga manyumba au nawaambia walazimishe nyumba nyingine wewe one at mtu mwenye ameshajenga nyumba mbili tatu anataka anunue gari wewe unasema unamwongeza nyumba mwingine anataka apeleke watoto shule wewe unasema unamwongezea nyumba na wakati koti natupilia mbali ati wewe unasema utupende tupende 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 vitu gani hata wewe upende usipende sasa imeangushwa na utairudisha huyu mtu ambaye anataka ku renovate state house na 3 billion shillings na watoto wetu wenye waja join form 1 wanahitaji shilingi milioni mia moja tu wakuwe shuleni watoto wengi sana huyu jamaa anapeleka wapi pesa unatuambia nini bwana unataka ku renovate state house na uko na maboma kumi Kenya hayo maboma kumi umeweka maskari 50 unamaliza pesa ya nje Alafu wakati wanatupilia mbali mswada mbaya wa bunge wewe unapiga kifua atuta petition wewe unapiga kifua at lazima utaendelea na wewe kimani ichungwa wewe 
Endelea kubetray wa kikuyu kabisa Tuma chako kimo toni Endelea kusema muko na majority in the National Assembly You are misleading Your majority at the house Your majority at the house ungekuwa na itumia kupigania wa kikuyu na wa Kenya wengine Ungebarikiwa sana Lakini ni kijana mdogo ambaye hata ungekuwa na pigania kingship ya Mount Kenya na upigania watu wa Mount Kenya huna aibu na simamo nasema mtaenda parliament kuseti sheria ya kuruhusu askari waenda haiti mtaenda parliament kuseti sheria ya kuidhinisha mswada wa housing levy kwani mnabishana na koti koti natupa mnalazimisha nisha sema msichana akikataa amekataa Uwezi lazimisha msichana unamshika kifua, unamshika matako, unamshika wapi? Msichana akikukataa tafuta mwingine, tulia bwana. Housing levy is not right for Kenyans because they are dying of hunger. Waja kupromise masedia. Waja kupromise wa Kenya watapata kazi mambo. Na wewe umeshindwa to create jobs. Na wewe umeharibu jobs zenye ulipata ziko in existence. So hiyo nimeachia hapo. Ingine ni hivi. Natoka Nairobi mbio, huyu nimefika na Akuru. Susan Kihika. Waachana na uo Memorial Hospital. Wewe haujui sheria ya uo Memorial Hospital na historia yake. Nilisha kuambia uo Memorial Hospital ilijengwa 1920. 1972 Babake uhuru ambaye anaita Jomo Kinyata alishuka pale ndege. Wakiwa na moi. Usiniulize kama niliona babu yangu aliona akaniambia. Vile walishuka pale Kinyata akasema hiyo hospitali ya Oma Memorial Hospital ilijengwa ili itibu wanasoja wa maumau wakiumizwa vitani. Lakini hiyo 1972 Kinyata akasema hii hospitali inakatanishwa mara mbili ikuwe na private wing na public wing public wing ni ile mnaambiwa na kuru PGH annex wing hii private ni ile mnasikia inaitwa war memorial hospital war memorial hospital ilikuwa lease kwa 100 years 100 years ikaisha tena directors wakaenda kotini na wakaenda wapi kwa ministry of land kwa ministry of land waliwapea haki ya kufanya leasing of the same property for another 50 years sasa 50 years yenye walilease kwa ministry of land hazijaisha lakini huyu mama wenu ambaye ameshindwa na kazi ambaye kazi yake ameachia bwana anaitwa Samburu yeye anatuma maskari ana, wanapata wagonjwa wamewekewa dialysis machine wanangolewa wengine wamewekwa kwa drip ya maji wanangolewa na magunz wengine wamefanywa cesarean section wa mama CS wanatolewa kwa machine wengine wameoperatiwa appendix wengine neurosurgery surgery ya kichwa wengine moyo lakini mama anaamrisha wanatolewa kwa mashini bila kujua ya kwamba hiyo hospitali iko na operate kiharali hiyo hospitali ilikuwa list for another 50 years na wale directors wanalipia this is called scaring our investors all kenyans be it by birth or registration wako na right ya kufanya biashara Kenya Uo Memorial Hospital tuko na records wamekuwa wakilipa hiyo lease amount on time vile waliafikiana na serikali na Ministry of Land ni makosa sasa nikihika anatuma askari wanavunja anatuma askari wanafanya nini anatuma askari wanatoa wagonjwa wetu kwa eh, kwa madawa sasa nikihika sisi kama bunge la mwananchi na akuru Tunaunga madam Tabitha Karanja mkono akuimbichi na atakuimbichi live alone MCS watatu sijui kutoka Naivasha ama Ulikari ama wapi wenye umepea pesa kidogo ati wanasimama kwa presa jana ati wanatuambia ati hawatakubali kuimbichi
mimi niko na memu si yeye kwa county government kwa ufunakuru ni marafiki zangu wote tumeafikiana wao kama maemu si yes kwa county government ya nakuru na bunge la mwananchi na nakuru tuko na nguvu ya kutosha ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba Susan Kihika amekuwa impeached because of gross misconduct mara amesumbua seneta akifanya oversight role yake mara ametishia seneta atafunga kiwanda cha seneta cha Keroche Brewery kwa sababu seneta akimkosoa anamtisha anasema nitafunga Keroche Brewery mara ametoa wagonjwa wetu kwa mashini ya dawa anataka wauwe mara nasikia kuna graph plan yeye pia ameuzishwa kwani huyu mama ni nani na ameweka bwana kwa serikali bwana ndiye ana control unajua hizo dili zote mnafanya na bwana ati bwana asimame mp uko rongai 2027 Mlitoa mtoto wa Moi mkisema ni mbaya. Mlitoa mtoto wa Moi saa hii mnataka kutoa Chebor. Ati Sam Mburu aenda huko atakuwa na. These are what we call misguided misdirected initiative. Umeshindwa kufanyia watu wanakuru kazi. Kazi ambayo inaonekana na Nakuru County ni bwana Rick Nyanjui ameifanya. Sisi kama bunge la mwananchi na Nakuru tunasema hivi. 2027 Rick Nyanjui rudi kwa uwanja tutakusupport. Liki nyanjui rudi kwa uwanja tukusupport umalizie kazi ambayo ulianza. Huyu mama ameleta cat walking kwa kaunti yetu ya Nakuru. Huyu mama ameleta familia kwa kaunti yetu ya Nakuru. Na anatishia MCS na anawahonga. Na anatishia seneta seneta akimwambia bwana hapa hawendi vizuri. Na hii ni mwaka ya kwanza. Huu mwaka ikifika miaka ya tatu huyu mama si atakuwa ametuaribia kaunti yetu ya Nakuru. Yes. Sisi kama bunge la mwananchi ni sauti ya mwananchi. Sisi kama bunge la mwananchi tunahakikisha sauti ya mwananchi wa chini imesikika. Na wewe si usani kihika. Ukiendelea hivi impeachment lazima ikufikie kwako nyumbani. Waacha vile unaona you are above the law and you can. Eh I mean bribe the vote the MCS of our account of Nakuru. So wale directors wanaangaishwa na kesi iko kotini mwachane na kesi imalizike ndio tujue kama wanafaa kutoka ama hapana lakini vile nimesema documents clearly indicate that wale watu walipata war memorial hospital kehalali therefore nobody should try to remove and evacuate them nobody should put their lives off our patients at war memorial hospital at stake mtu anaishi na akuru ana haki ya kwenda hospitali yoyote. Anaweza aende hospitali ya kibinafsi ama aende hospitali ya kiserikali. Na wale investors wame invest kwa biashara kama hizo tunawaunga mkono kwa sababu wameandika vijana wetu. Huo Memorial Hospital imeandika madaktari karibu mia moja na hamsini Hao watu wakiacha kazi wao nataka waende wapi? Na wewe kwa account umejaza watu wa kabila yako peke yake na watu wa familia ndio umejaza hapo. So madam senator Tabila Karanja. My name is Robert Makoha Wangoho. I'm behind you. Na tutasukuma huyo mama atoke kwa ofisi. Initiate that impeachment motion and we are going to push it to make sure that she steps down. We put in office a person who puts the interest of the people of Nakuru first. Taxpayer wa Nakuru anakuja wa kwanza. Sina mengi ya kuongea, sina mengi ya kuongeza. Hii ni sauti ya rais, hii ni sauti ya mwananchi. Asante sana.